everyone, my name is Wakas and I'm a second year internal medicine resident. Uh, I pretty much decided to start this channel to talk about my journey to medicine and everything that entails. I know there's a bunch of channels out there with medical students and residents or even attendings uh, about this, but this will be pretty much from my perspective. But to start, I was born in Pakistan, um, so I'm from an immigrant family. The f cool story is that, you know, at the time my dad was just a teacher, he was teaching you know, like third graders or something there and he was on his way to school uh, and on the way there he saw like a long line on the road and he was like what is this and he goes and asks the guy and the guy's like you know if you want to go to america buy this lottery ticket so my dad he buys it forgets about it months later we get a packet in the mail uh essentially telling him that oh you and your immediate family won a visa lottery and you can go to the united states with the and get a green card there so he didn't believe it. He thought it was like a scam. So he just forgot about it. More months went by and then they sent like a final notice and he finally realized that it was actually true. And you know, it was a big decision for him to make at the time for him and my mom um, to leave their entire family behind to come here to the, Amer to the United States, not knowing anyone. Uh, so they're not just me, but their future children who are to yet to be born can have a better life. So that's how we got here to the United States. Uh, here, you know, it's, it's not like I'm from a rich, wealthy family. It's actually quite the opposite. Uh, you know, I'm from an immigrant family. You know, my parents barely made ends meet and there's four of us and I'm the oldest. So being from an immigrant family, coming here for the sake of, you know, your parents wanting the American dream for their kids, naturally, uh, you know, you, there's a lot of pressure on, on you, the oldest or any of the kids to succeed. You know, I felt that from time to time, but in high school, I was more focused on just, you know, playing Call of Duty, uh, skateboarding and uh, you know just hanging out with my friends there's a funny story that I was actually sponsored by a skate shop when I used to skateboard I was pretty good at the time but that's another story for a different time uh, so as high school went along I didn't really care about studying anything I uh, just more so just you know doing the minimum uh, towards the end of high school like end of my junior year I started to more think about you know my future what is it that I want to do um, you know I was more interested in entrepreneurial things, selling things on eBay, flipping things from yard sales. I was doing that for fun. Um, and, but, you know, I don't even really see myself doing that the rest of my life or at, the, or at least at the time. Uh, and that's when I started to think more about medicine. You know, I was helped take care of my grandparents by taking them to all of their doctor appointments. And that's like my initial exposure to medicine. So long story short, uh, I finished high school with a 3.0 GPA barely made meeting the cutoff to even be able to apply to a UC at least that's what I was at the time um, and I failed the ACT and barely passed the SAT so I used the SAT score and my 3.0 GPA I applied everywhere I ended up getting a full ride to UC Merced which is pretty much at the time in the middle of nowhere so I went to UC Merced on a full ride uh, based off of financial aid not really anything like scholarships um, and that's where I did the pre-med track so long story short for college as well, and, you know, there'll be more detailed videos later on if you guys have questions, but uh, I really had a complete shift in my mindset in college. You know, I got really, really into discipline, my work ethic, things like that. You know, coming from a family, seeing my dad, how hard he worked all his life, you know, he never took a day off. He worked seven days a week, 14 hours a day, and he did that for 20 plus years. And he still does that to this day. From my background, just having this natural you know, desire inside of myself to, you know, someday get to a point where, you know, I'm successful, happy, and can take care of my family. Those were my main things at the time. I would study my butt off as everyone does to get to medical school. Every day waking up at 4.30 a.m. Uh, and studying, through the, studying throughout the day and doing extracurricular, shadowing, all those things on top of it. When it came to the MCAT, uh, I had a decision to make because that's when the old MCAT was switching to the new MCAT. And if I didn't take it, at the end of my sophomore or junior year, um, I wouldn't be able to take it, the old one. Uh, so I had to make a decision, do I wanna take the old one or do I just wanna wait and then take the new one and be the guinea pig for the new one? So essentially I decided to just study for the, study, start studying right then for the old one and take it. And, you know, at the same time I was taking prerequisites like OCHEM, physics, calculus, and then I'll do that during the day and at nighttime, until from like 6 p.m. to midnight, I would study for the MCAT. And I took the MCAT, I didn't get a good score, but I passed and I ended up getting a pretty good GPA, which is like 3.9, 3.85, something like that. Um, so with that GPA and MCAT, I applied to both MD and DO schools. 
Uh, I didn't want to do Caribbean schools because you know I was worried about their match rates. So I just want to do MDDO, uh, stick to the American medical schools. I got several interviews to DO schools, uh, like one to MD school, and I got accepted to every single DO school I have interviewed at except for one. I decided to go to the DO school that was close to family because it was important for me to be near my family because um, I know how tough medical school is now and how I foresaw it being very difficult at the time. So everything in medical school uh, is its own beast, step exams, you know, anatomy, all those things. Um, and that'll be a separate series, a separate set of videos. I'm more so just glazing over how I am, how I got to where I am. Uh, medical school went by. I realized through my rotations, I wanted to do internal medicine and probably be a hospitalist. So I did that. I applied to a bunch of internal medicine residencies, over a hundred and got dozens of interviews and luckily i got based off of my rank list i got matched into california i'm a second year internal medicine resident now i've been in two residencies already and the story for that will come in another video because it's pretty interesting and that's where i am now so you know this is just a little glimpse into my journey from you know from my life to where i am now and all those you know sections in between and all the details will come in different videos and if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And thanks for watching.